Aloha. My name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about creative process and habit. So here it is. It's the night before my hula class, and I'm now confessing I have not practiced a single time. I didn't look at that video. I didn't do it well last week. I won't remember anything about my feet and hands tomorrow. I feel a little anxious about it. Um, I kind of wonder, first I thought, Steph, are you engaging in brinksmanship? You know, like you wanna do something at the very last minute. A lot of ADHD people do this to try to get that bit of adrenaline rush and power through. And I thought, no, because I actually don't enjoy that. I know some ADHD people do that, but I tend to over prepare or, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have that type of habit. So I thought it can be that. Then I thought, is it because it's too hard? This is a little bit of a harder hula. I thought maybe because when it's a little too hard, I feel sometimes overwhelmed. Then I thought, is it simply because I got caught up in a bunch of other stuff? And I thought, yeah, it could be that. So then I had to take a step back and I really had to ponder this. First, I felt really rather guilty. Here I am, I'm taking these lessons. I have a brilliant teacher. I've had some brilliant teachers who have changed my life and I feel really honored at this stage to have found this other kind of teacher who can do this. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I should be practicing every single day and I'm not practicing every single day, although I've gone through phases of doing that. So I had to really think about this. I had to also have a little compassion for myself and think, okay, you know what? You're in this for the long haul. When you're in something for the long haul, there will be times when you're not going to do something every day, okay? Some people might call this lazy, but I don't think so. I know what my reality and potential is in this area. Um, it's really a type of practice for me. It's, it's like, um, it's a meditative movement practice for me. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm just gonna keep doing this probably, I don't know, another decade, maybe the rest of my life, just as long as I'm living here. So if that's the case, can I cut myself a little bit of slack for this week? And I think, yeah, I probably can. Is that a good habit to have? No, but the important thing is to just practice and do it. What happens sometimes with us, and this is in any creative process, is we start to fall behind, we feel overwhelmed, we feel a little bit maybe ashamed or embarrassed because we didn't do what we set out to do. So then we try to avoid it and we give up, okay? The best thing we can do is to take a step back, examine this practice and process. Is this something you're gonna be doing for a long period of time? Was there, you know, a reason or two why you didn't do it? Um, you know, what's the consequence? Will you get up again and do it? Chances are, if it is a creative project that you are engaged with, yes, you will. So then at this point, you have to be a little compassionate with yourself and say, okay, you know what, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna practice a couple times. I'm gonna cut myself a little bit of slack for tomorrow and um, I'm gonna practice harder this week, but I'm in this for the long haul. And because I'm in it for the long haul, there's gonna be those ups and downs. Not everything is a perfect diagonal upward line you know, things don't progress in that way. So accept this as part of your creative process and unfolding as an artist, as a writer, as what, whatever you do, 
You know, there's going to be a little bit of the ups and downs. So don't castigate yourself and just keep going. Okay? That's it for today. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to my class tomorrow. And um, I'm going to practice more this week. Okay. Cheers. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for thoughts on creativity process, writing and reading, and health. And subscribe to my news stack, uh, my Substack newsletter, Woman Warrior Writer at drstephaniehan.com. Bye.